Hello everyone, hope you're doing well and welcome to the another video of JavaScript complete course. So in this video we are going to talk about switch statement in JavaScript. So before jumping out to the main point, if you didn't subscribe my YouTube channel, make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so you get the notification of my new video when I upload them. Alright, so let's get started. So JavaScript, st uh, JavaScript switch statement is used to decision making. The switch statement evaluates an expression and executes the corresponding body or the corresponding body that matches the expression's result. So here you can see the result, the syntax, the simple syntax of a switch statement. So here you can see the switch statement evaluates a variable or expression inside the parentheses, inside these parentheses, and uh, then uh, if the result of the expression is equal to value 1, its body is going to be executed. And then if the result was equal to value 2, the, its body is going to be executed. And the same the third one, the value 3. And uh, this is the progress. Here you can see, uh, this progress goes on if there is no matches cases. The default body is executed. So when the when none of these uh, values are match, then then the default body is going to be executed. And uh, remember, there is a break statement which is optional. Here you can see this break statement is optional. If the break statement is encountered, the switch statement ends. So if the break statement is if the break statement is not used, the cases after the match after the, the cases after the matching case are also executed. So if there if I remove this um, break statement, it is if the value one matches to the our expression, then it's, it's going to be executed the second, third, and uh, all of the uh, cases. If if the if I add the break statement here, if the first expression is uh, matches match, then it's not going to execute the second one. So let me add a simple create a simple example to show you how it works. So so first I'm going to create a variable. It and equal to 2 and after that I'm going to create a switch statement and here I'm going to pass the name of the variable and uh, I'm going to remove the expression here so I'm going to say case 1 equal to 1 so if the variable a is equal to 1 so it is going to be print 1 and after that I'm going to pass add a break and let me add another case so if it was 2 then a is equal to 2 and case it was 3 a is equal to 3 and uh, for default I'm going to add a is equal to not found and I'm going to, I'm also going to add a break here and after that what I'm going to do I'm going to add console.log and let's add the from here and let's plus a the value is 2 here you can see the value is 2 if I change this to 3 and when I save this the value is 3 and uh, if I change this into 1 it will pass the value 1 so hope you understand until this point now what I'm going to do let me explain this one by one so first here you can see here I have passed to the uh, in this example I pass 2 to a variable and then inside the instead of expression this expression I have I'm going to check the uh, 
a variable and then in case 1 the result is going to be false because a variable uh, in a variable I have added 2 and uh, in case 1 it is 1 because in case 1 is not going to match then it is going to be false in case 2 it is going to be match and then it is true in case 3 it is not going to match because it is going to be false and uh, here you can see the break the break statement terminates the block and control flow of the program to jump to in outside the switch block so hope you understand until this point so if you have any question any suggestion please leave the comment below if you didn't subscribe my youtube channel make sure to subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon